poppin', homies. This is your boy, Blowing the Budget, aka Frank, aka Frank Nitty. Yo, I know it's been a minute. I haven't posted any videos. Quick update my hard drive just failed. So, all the content I have, probably 60% of the content you guys probably have never seen. It's just pretty much videos I did in the past that just sit in on the drawing board for me to create videos and give you that uh, flashback look with present material. So, hence the reason why the 20 days of vlogging challenge has been paused for a second but i'll be right back at it i'm getting a new laptop this week i don't even know when it's going to drop so i may be back in the group of things when you guys see this video but anyways man i just want to give you guys a quick update of what i copped at SneakerCon and Sneaker games for the uh weekend of february 11th and 12th also on a quick note this was a package i wasn't expecting i was told i was going to be getting it from the homie and uh, he sent it and it came today so i don't know what is in here you guys can see as long and vamoosh. So the homie hooked it up. It is a YouTube t-shirt. Good looking, yo. YouTube t-shirt. This is what's up, man. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this, man. Appreciate it. Shout out to my homie. Vinny, appreciate you. Yo, thanks you for this t-shirt. Alright. So I was uh, pick up number one for the weekend, even though it was something I didn't buy, but it was much appreciated. Second, a sneaker con t-shirt for a deal 2017 joint. I went to 89 booth and I copped this tee. Now, to be fair, 89 is my favorite clothing t-shirt brand for right now. I haven't found any clothing brand that's better, in my personal opinion. I love the material. I like the form and fit of how their t-shirts feel. So. Um, I'm definitely copying more from them and I'm looking for the t-shirts too as well If you guys got any suggestions for t-shirt companies that do mass kicks doesn't necessarily have to but great concepts um, Also like good messages on t-shirts hoodies, whatever man. I'm all about that I'm actually thinking about doing a t-shirt review segment on my channel man. That's how much I love t-shirts and I um, just want to get independent t-shirt brands and I just want to uh, try them out and Give my personal opinion and hopefully if they're if they pan out Give my unbiased reviews on them. Yeah, I would like to do that. Hope I can incorporate that somehow. All right, so that was number two. Continue with the scheme of sneaker con. I was able to pick this joint up. And if most of you guys have been there, I've seen the videos already. You already know what this is. This is a sample t-shirt from Sample Iron. What is it? Sample Iron D? Uh, that's Tony D and Bull RC's t-shirt brand company. And I had to show respect and pay homage and cop a, a, cop a pair of shoes here, right? Cop a t-shirt. So I uh, shout out to them, man. I also got a couple pictures with them. You probably see it right here. Boom. That's the crew. Um, shout out to them. I actually had Tony D uh, did a little promo on my channel as well, man. So I appreciate him. This will be getting love. I don't know what I'm going to rock this with. I'm um, feeling the maroons, man. So we'll see. We'll see. So that's pretty much. Uh, oh, 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 one more. more. Uh, for sneaker con crep protect man if you got sneakers you definitely need to be jumping on this personally i haven't tried so i can't give you my unbiased opinion but i heard good things man thinker box podcast has hooked me up with this and what they was doing is giving callers from different cities the first caller from a particular city i was giving them free crack protect but i never got it so i saw afghan caesar hit him up he walked me over to the to the booth and it hooked me bless your boy with all these uh, all this free stuff got the wipes right here so this is the wipes this is with your brush and the gel i guess is for cleaning your cleaning supply kit right here and this is the pills make your it's like a sneaker deodorant or a sneaker freshener and you know you got that crap that you got spray on your shoes and that's what's in the can moving along man so you know i went to sneaker games as well that was the following day february 12th in tampa florida that was actually closer that was like an hour away i was late only, I think I got there with maybe an hour left for the whole show. But anyways, I got there. Reason why too, I was more extremely late because I stopped at the outlet, had to, and I caught these bad boys. These are the Harachis and the U.S. colorway. Uh, Harachi 2Ks. Uh, Kobe did rock these shoes. Not this particular um, color, but silhouette. I did get these shoes for balling. I actually had a look on feet, man. I was thinking about rocking them casually. I don't know yet, but this is just a balling shoe for me. They do have the Air zoom technology in here so that's dope um, and I actually had a pair of these back in the days that I hooped in and this is a pullback nostalgia for me so I'm definitely gonna be giving these a try 
Even though I haven't finished my review, I have uh, multiple shoes here. I got more multiple shoes, basketball shoes coming for me to hoop in and review as well. A lie, not review, but just me hooping in. And right now, the James Hardens are my number one pick. But like I said, I've been buying boosts. And this is the first pair of Nike basketball shoes I think I bought in two years to hoop in. All right, while well, I'm there at the sneaker games, you now I have to show love to another independent sneaker t-shirt brand. And this is Bakery Gang. Uh, I'll wrap with the, the owner, the creator, who does his own image. And this is a brand that he has. He's out in Miami, Florida. And he was at the Sneaker Games, man. He was also at Sneaker Con, but I didn't talk to him then. But I did talk to him at Sneaker Games. And it's the t-shirt I purchased. Got a great price for it. Like I told him, man, pans out. Um, definitely be rock by more tees, man. Like I said, I'm a sucker for tees. I look for good quality. And this quality is pretty dope. I like the concept behind it as well. So shout out to him. I believe his name was Wayne. I did rap with them and hopefully in the future, man, we can do some uh, some linking up. I'm supposed to go to Miami, probably do a photo shoot down there. Um, I'm not a professional. Photo shoot being, like, I'm probably take a couple of shoes. Uh, there's a senior in Miami where it's number of graffiti throughout the wall. I forgot, I forgot what the district is called. I probably put the link here if I, once I remember. But it's a great area for scenery, so I can get some good footage and a good recording. So maybe I get some free time from work. Probably shoot down there for a day, do some filming, hook up with the homie like I promised. And you know what I'm saying? Get a little photo shoot with some tees out, you know what I mean? But other than that, man, it's pretty much the, all my pickups. Uh, yeah, it's been waiting for this, man. That's right, right man, bro. We got it for you, man. I appreciate it. It's really it was you, man. Yeah, yeah. Been waiting for it. Actually, it says it's going to take two weeks. They came from China in a week. What? <laughs> yeah, fast as hell, man. Yeah. Make sure you don't change your mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, <laughs> you too, man. Yo, finally, finally, I got myself a computer, man. It's been long overdue. Keep how long? Back in August, I sold my computer because I know Apple's going to come out with a computer in October. Well, that's what I hope. And eventually it did happen. They did drop a computer in October as scheduled. However, the computer wasn't up to snuff with the computer I would want. So it was a hard pass, man. So after debating and waiting, I actually like decided to get last year's model. But I tricked it out. So I got top of the line what I could for last year's model. And I got a bigger size screen. So this is my baby. And I was waiting for this. And it shipped that same day. Even though it was customized, it shipped the same day. So I got it a week later today which is Wednesday. Um, it actually came from China. So the length of time, it wasn't like it came from California. It literally came from China that day, that Wednesday, last week, Wednesday, to today, which is today's Wednesday. So I guess they must have flew it over here because I, I think a boat would take way too long. But nevertheless, man, without further ado, let's see what I got it's inside this box. I am excited. This has been long overdue. Been waiting for all, since August for a new computer. And I actually pulled the trigger. And you already know Apple computers are tight, expensive, so this bet lasts me a long time. MacBook. Damn, that was loud. Pro. Right here. MacBook Pro, 15 inch Retina, 512 memory, 16 gigs. Well, 16 gigs memory, 512 uh, gigabyte storage, uh, 15 inch. What else? 2.9 processor. Wasn't the top of line processor, but it was good enough for me. Uh, and this is the bad boy right here. It's already unboxing, but I'm gonna do the unboxing of the unboxing. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up for you guys. Boom. Been nice slid in there. Ah, I can smell that China air. Mmm. Dis disregard that comment. And this is the beauty right here. This is the baby right here. This is what I've been waiting for. This puppy. And as you can tell with Apple comes with, you know, a charger. I think this is what, 65 watts? 85 watts. Um, I do have the, the longer cord. And this Apple comes with no instructions, <laughs> whatever this may be. What is this? This is probably Apple stickers maybe. I mean, not yes, Apple stickers. Put some stickers on there. If you guys got any suggestions where I can get some nice stickers, not Supreme, not Bake. I may just do my logo on here somehow. 
I'll finesse my logo around this laptop. So everyone knows it's my laptop. If you see me out and about working, best believe I'm editing. This machine is literally essentially for YouTube. Like I bought this. This camera that I'm recording on was for YouTube. This tripod was for YouTube. This stand was for YouTube. This backdrop was for YouTube, man. So I'm trying to, you know, be a little bit more creative and invest money into doing something that I'm passionate about. You know what I mean? Uh, YouTube is not essentially the whole passion. Creativity is. So I'm trying to spound on that. Black Biscuit booting up for the first time. I don't know. Maybe I might name it Black Biscuit. I don't know. What about Silver Surfer? That's a cool name. I don't know. I'm going to name it something. I always name my hard drives. I never name my computer, but I may do it this time. Here goes the boot. Yeah, you did, you did. 